Okay, time to take a look at the weather situation. And Brian, you know, this, this tropical uh, storm, Andrew, is really mm. odd. I mean, it's so tough to track these things, uh, really, to, to, to know what they're going to do. Well, it's a long way out. Now, you know, the question for us is, should we be concerned about it? Yes, it is the prime time of year to have a storm here. We've had a lot of storms in late August, and around Labor Day is when we've had uh, major hurricanes here, and they usually come from this general area. Does that mean it's coming here? No, it doesn't mean that. It just means that it's the time of year that we've got to pay close attention and that means every day, and that means on into the weekend, because the timing on this would bring it close to somewhere in the southeastern part of the U.S. late in the weekend or early next week. More on that in just a second, but let's go ahead and take a look at the live growth cam. All right, here we go now with Tropical Storm Andrew. Let's go ahead and locate it for you so you can plot it. 19.2 north, about 59.5 west, 50 mile an hour winds, west northwest at 21, and there you see the central pressure locating it here just to the, uh, about four, a little over 400 miles to the east-northeast of Puerto Rico. Now, where might Andrew go? According to the computer, tomorrow Andrew would be somewhere in here, Friday here, Saturday here, if the storm hangs together. And that's the big if, because the storm has been pulsating, going up and down, up and down. Uh, but it looks like now that it will probably survive and move into this area in the ocean where conditions will become more favorable. But notice there's a big range on where it might be because the exact uh, force is uncertain. Here's a satellite picture now, and we put the colors on to indicate the most intense part of the storm. Notice the purple blossoming as we go through the day here today, indicating more intense thunderstorms. So it was very ragged this morning, then becoming more intense here today as it moves in this west-northwest path. This system up here, this upper air low, is the one that we've been watching to see if that would destroy Andrew, which sometimes happens. Here you see the upper air low right here. Here's Andrew down there. But notice the upper air low is moving away, and we think that that's going to allow Andrew to move into this area north of Puerto Rico, and we'll know more on that tomorrow. 93 tomorrow, hot sunshine and some strong thunderstorms again, with lots of lightning in this kind of uh, atmosphere. Andrew, four more days into the weekend, staying hot. The beach will be best over the weekend. Plan to watch Andrew. That's it. We'll see you at 11. Here's Cal.